I stayed up all night and the following day reading everything over and over. I destroyed my home. I threw my vase and broke some plates out of anger. I burned some of his clothes in our fire pit. Welcome back to They Did What? Your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I go over them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, gonna go a story titled, My Husband Cheated on Me with His Best Friend's Wife. And guys, this story is the opposite of what I normally do. This is a story about a situation where the, uh, the guy was cheating on his wife. Except this story, guys, this guy here, which he's telling the story, is probably one of the dumbest mother effers I've seen in a while. You're going to see that not only is he an a-hole and a dumbass for cheating on his wife and kids, I might add, but also you're going to see that this woman's brother, her brother, is a divorce attorney and a shark. Not exactly someone you want to mess around with. And you're going to find out she has an ironclad prenup, probably courtesy of her brother, and this guy is doing his best friend's wife. And his best friend is also his boss. And was the, he was the best man in his wedding. I mean, you don't get any more lower than this freaking guy here, not to mention dumber. And you're going to see in this story how she ends up catching him and the whole thing she does behind the scenes to get everything lined up to eventually strike. And so it's definitely a lesson out there for the guys, because this, this is a men's channel, that if you're going to cheat, better you just end it. Better just part ways, take the hit, and move on. Because if you don't, you could end up cheating on a gal, whether she's a great wife or not, who is going to find out, because they all are going to find out, and will have things going behind the scenes to strike when you least expect it. But you know what? To guys that do that type of crap, they get what's coming to them. Now, of course, if she was an awful wife, that'd be different. But devil's advocate here, sounds like she's been a good wife. And by the way, they're not that old. She's 29, he's 33, two kids, been married for five years. They started pretty young. So, it starts off, she says, um, I am 29 years old and my husband Theo is a 32-year-old male. And we met at the university. I was a cheerleader and he played football. Classic love story. He didn't get drafted in the NFL like he dreamed about, so he decided to settle down. We're officially together for three years, married for the last five. We have two children, a six-year-old boy and a two-year-old girl. Theo has a childhood best friend called Carson, a 32-year-old male. Prior to our marriage, I only met him sporadically, as in maybe once or twice a month at a bar or dinner. Uh, he met his wife, Hannah, a third-year-old female at our university and spends 99% of his time with her, so it's few and far between that I saw either of them. Ironically, Carson and Hannah just got married six months ago. Theo was his best man. I did not go to their wedding as I had a different wedding to attend to. So, here we go. Approximately, uh, she actually breaks this down into dates. So, at around 6 p.m. on February 10th of 2022, my son was watching Shrek on his iPad when he said his movie kept dinging. I wasn't sure what was going on, so I checked it out. I don't have any experience with Apple products outside of his iPad. I use Android products, so I have asked a few people to review the photos I took on the iPad. They still haven't reviewed it. He was getting WhatsApp notifications. I didn't install WhatsApp, so I knew I had I, I knew it had to have been my husband. Especially because, again, I don't use Apple products. It's all linked to his information. I didn't think badly at first. I trusted my husband. However, when Safari had opened, I saw an open thread saying... And she quotes, Can't wait until the 9th. We are going to have so much fun, sexy. She says, Who the F even says that? I started reading through every message until my son asked if I fixed it. I told him I had it, but I get Uncle Tate to let him use the gaming stuff today instead. I called my brother, a 37-year-old male, to see if he could babysit since I had some important things to review, and he agreed. Once the kids were gone, I read every message until I wanted to vomit. I tortured myself by getting photos of everything. So let's review. It popped up on the on the iPad. How many stories do we talk about where these guys find out about their wives through other electronics that are all connected together? How dumb is that? But it goes both ways. And now she's getting all the evidence and she's smart enough to take all the pictures. So for you guys watching here, if you're going to cheat and I, I'm against the cheating, be aware. You're going to get caught. 
better to end it to move on. Uh, it goes on, says, I stayed up all night look, reading the whole thing. She says here, I was rereading every single message and I stayed up all night. I destroyed my home. I threw my vase and broke some plates out of anger. Well, there's a stereotype. I burned some of his clothes in our fire pit. Whoa. It was very therapeutic. I said, she says here, we have cameras outside of our home. He did notice me burning his clothes, but I advised they had cat pee on them. You'd be asking, why would he just accept that? Because he hates my cats. He thinks they're dirty and often will throw away any clothes they've even touched. My kids named the cats, by the way, and I cleaned the mess inside the house. Smashing disses, smashing a vase, burning his clothes. Hell hath no fear. I'll blame him for being pissed. But what would happen if a guy started doing that? What would happen if a guy took her wardrobe out to the backyard, dumped some freaking kerosene on it, and lit it up? Would it, be, would it go too well? I'll blame her for being pissed. Now, on to March 10th, 2022. I requested phone records from our telephone company. I reached out to uh, Private Investigator Services, and they would be hired officially in May, in May of 2022. I need to know more, and they were damn good at their jobs. Yes, they are. <clears throat> the photos of them going to hotels together, the flights for both of them, them kissing in cafes, and recordings of them laughing as they entered Carson's house. They weren't very careful, and how I didn't figure this out sooner astounds me. The investigation was, was, wasn't closed until uh, 11 uh, November of 2022 at my request. She's obviously foreign because she's writing the, the, the dates back kind of backwards. Or maybe us in the States write our dates backwards. So, private investigator. Now we're going on to the lawyer. On November 10th, I reached out to my brother, who is a divorce attorney, and he's mean-ass one as well. We went over the prenups, the clauses, what's safe and what isn't. Our financials are separate. We drafted some paperwork up for custody arrangements, that I, though I know Theo will probably try to push custody entirely on me. He's very transactional with the kids when he's not at home. That may change, though, since you know his best friend is his boss. My brother is ready when I'm ready. Yet somehow, I'm not ready. I wanted to wait two more weeks for the PI to finish what needs to be done. Again, this dumb mother effort is cheating on a wife whose brother is a divorce attorney, and as she described, a mean-ass one. How stupid is that? And again, doing his best friend, who's his boss, his wife. I gotta wonder if this guy is actually jealous of his best friend because of uh, his success and probably has a, maybe he has a prettier wife. I don't know. And he's his boss and he just wants to stick it to him. Well, he's sticking it to her to stick it to him. I don't know. But this guy is about to be raked over the coals. Uh, a few days later, my husband comes home. He deleted WhatsApp. It was... He deleted WhatsApp and wasn't hangs out with the kids for some time before sleeping. Jet lag after all. I'm emotionally exhausted. I don't have you know what with him as usual. He's concerned, but I tell him I think I caught the flu and don't feel too good. It's true, I don't feel too good. A few days later, I realized how transactional my entire relationship was to, to begin with. Honey, all relationships are transactional. All relationships are business deals. Let's be honest here. From Sadly, from friendships to certainly relationships. He gets something, she gets something. End of story. But sadly, the gals always get way more than guys, and guys don't realize it until it's too late. All relationships are business deals. It's cynical, but it's the truth. A few days later, the private investigator comes back with all the evidence. The PI was very communicative with, about the whole process. Once again, I'm sick to my stomach. I need to my bid my time. I need to bid my time still. She's obviously she wrote this off a little off here. Uh, it's been a month and some days since I found out he was cheating and it's been eating me alive. My husband has been on a business trip off and on. I'm so mad at myself for not realizing sooner. I'm so disgusted with my husband, with Hannah, with every single one of her friends that helped cover for her. Sorry if I'm all over the place writing this. I think it all just hit me again today, and I'm having anxiety about him coming home tonight and having to pretend all over again. How she's keeping all this shit inside, I will never get. But then again, these, these guys do these stories, and they keep it all bottled up inside too till they strike. But at this point, she's got the evidence, she's got the lawyer. Best to just do this thing and, and strike and move the hell on says, thanks for letting me vent, vent Reddit. As a quick edit, she says, the reason I haven't told Carson yet is he owns a business that my family is now a shareholder in. Carson's his friend and the boss. 
Theo works under him. I've been trying to find out legally what the ramifications would be if Carson fired him without cause and or create a hostile workplace. I want to have answers before I give information. Hannah also had a baby two years ago, and he looks a lot like my son. So I also want to advise Carson to get a DNA test since the affair has been on and off for approximately two and a half years. Holy shit. Two and a half years this guy's been doing his his so-called best friend's chick. Yeah. In my opinion, she needs to talk to that best friend and tell him everything. Show him all the evidence and all that, and they can work together to take out this asshole. Because that's what he deserves. And it's a tricky situation since he's obviously he's a shareholder in that business. But then again, that guy's he's the boss. Yeah, it's a mess. But you know what? It can be resolved. But it's better than staying as they are. And this way that the friend of his can also hopefully kick his wife to the curb and have evidence there. And then who knows that that kid is actually his. Let's talk about a shit storm. And it's just so unfortunate. But people are shit. Or at least a lot of people are shit. And that is the end of her thing for now. Now, I'm going to be watching for updates to see when she eventually serves this guy and how this whole thing goes down. Now, real quick, I'm going to read a few comments here. One guy says, I message Carson. You need to meet with him before he goes home. Tell him it's very important and not to say a word to anyone. That will bring his suspicions up. Bring all your proofs, then you two can plan a revenge plan that is safe for both you financially and mentally. Perhaps start with getting finances checked and ready, and do a DNA test on his son. Agree, you need your finances taken care of before sp springing the board on them. Yeah, definitely. Both these guys, both her and this dude, need to work together. And this guy owns a company, obviously he has resources, and he can tap into other things, have everything ready, so he can kick his wife to the curb, hopefully. Although, because she's the wife, she'll probably get an easier deal. And she can strike against this a-hole. But, again, it's bad enough cheating on your wife and kids. Okay? But with your bro's wife, who you were the best man at their wedding, he may be their kid's dad. I mean, this takes low to a whole new level. This guy deserves what he gets. This guy's obviously a Chad. A Chad or Tyrone type that deserves what's coming. Another guy says here, I read your post. I read uh, your other post and recommend you let Carson know. You have a solid proof and will share with him when ready. This will get your husband fired for sure. Uh, thank your parents for the foresight of the prenup prenuptial agreement. Sorry you have to deal with this pain. I hope you have a lawyer advising you. Keep us updated. And the last one, this is from a woman. She says, <clears throat> you're very strong and amazing. I would have already burned down the whole freaking city after finding out. I bet she would. Your husband and Hannah are disgusting. You should tell Carson as soon as you can. He deserves to know and you deserve to get his shit and deserve to get his shit together. I do hope you take your disgusting husband to the cleaners. Girl, I had two small kids when I left and my husband and my life has turned out pretty amazing. Hard at times, but amazing and I'm happy. You and the kids are going to be okay. Yes, she will. And they're little kids and it's going to be tough, but at the end of the day, they'll be okay. So guys, there you go. Moral of the story is for you guys out there, you're in a marriage, you're not happy, as I say, end it. You, you may get hit, sure, but don't be a scumbag. Don't be like this douchebag and doing that, particularly if you have kids. Because it will, you will get caught and you'll get it'll be even freaking worse. And especially on your bro's wife. Okay? If you if you, you want to hook up with a girl, fine. But you don't need to hook up with your buddy's girlfriend or ex-girlfriend like that. You just don't go there. And I'm guessing this guy probably is just jealous and resentful of his buddy's success. And so he wants to get even with him somehow. I don't know. And obviously the, that guy's wife probably just has disdain for this, this woman telling this story. And all her friends are covering this up there. It's, it's a shit storm. So guys, if you have a pretty good life without as drama free, be appreciative of this. Because this shows you there's a lot of turmoil out there. All right, guys, that's it for today. Be sure to comment down below and what you think about this. And, guys, you come across a really good story, by all means, email it to me, strongsuccessfulmail at gmail.com. Just give me some time to get to it. I definitely will. And, by the way, I will keep an eye out for updates for the story because I do want to see how this thing goes. And if I do, if I find one, and she posts one, I'll definitely put it online. And be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.